get behind us a little and then hit full throttle and let's see how much faster that three horsepower is than our 1.8 and one torpedo yours a one horsepower right yeah yeah okay go ahead tom ready yeah <laughs> Be sure and run into Oscar while you're at it. Watch out for the wake. Yeah, it's quite it's a decent amount faster. What's your throttle control say? How many miles an hour? What did he how many how fast? What is Tom, what's yours on your highest setting? I can't hear him. 6.7? Dang. I bet you Ed's goes like seven and a half then. Since his kayak got like it gets on plane. That Jackson. So according to the throttle controls, my kayak goes 5.1, Oscar's goes 5.6, and Tom's goes 6.7. Oscar has the Torquedo 11, uh, 403, the one horsepower, going 5.6. I have the Newport 1.8 going 5.1. And Tom has the Torquedo 1103, three horsepower. And on that particular kayak, it goes 6.7. So on a kayak that is a little bit more able to handle that motor like the jackson or any of the bigger kayaks it'll probably do a little over seven we'll test we'll text uh test out ed's one day and we forgot to read the controller the other day to see how fast ed's was going ed has the jackson kusa with a three horsepower torpedo man we got a long ways to go we've got a long so he's using a lot more battery you think brushless, that's why. oh yours is, that one's brushless and his isn't right. uh, okay the 403 in order to do the same speed as the 1103 his is using more more battery life the batteries will last a long time if you go like half throttle but who the hell wants to go half throttle <laughs> <laughs> but if you ran into an issue where you're running out of battery if you go slower you'll you'll get there this is about a 13 mile trip round trip that's full throttle, that's full throttle now. yeah yeah you got a little bit more of me a little bit, but... 325 watts 420 it yours has more freaking get up and go than the newport five miles per hour on the app too so the torpedo controllers are pretty dang accurate on how fast that the that you're moving so but this is another indicator i downloaded this speedometer app gps <laughs> just to do this for y'all and we're cruising at five miles an hour of course it don't show if it was five and a half or something like that i guess it just goes three four or five we're also going against just a little bit of current not much though yeah it's dropped down to four average speed four miles an hour max speed five but my battery's getting a little on the low side. And these lithium batteries, everyone says that they run full speed until it's, until it's dead, then it just quits. That's not the case on my battery. It's a lithium amped outdoors and it, it'll run full speed for about 13 miles. And then it starts to slowly lose power. You can see that I guess y'all can see it, I don't know. Hopefully y'all can see that. The watts is down to 301 now. 
we were running at 330 watts early this morning. The voltage is down to 25.2. And that percentage, that 71%, that's the full blast of this motor for some reason, is 70%. It's always, it's always 70 until the battery runs down. When the battery starts to die on this setup, the voltage will read less than 24 volts. I've had it down to 21 volts before on a 15 mile trip and 21 volts you're going about two and a half three miles an hour instead of five see we're down to 300 watts now it's it's starting to go down the battery so that's my setup the new port 1.8 or 180 with a 50 amp hour amped outdoors battery Freaking driver's license at man. Did y'all see that shit? Damn Tom. I think I'll over here. <laughs> Boy, I think my life flashed before my eyes for a second. Damn. You, you got too much horsepower on that thing, you can't manage it. Hey Jay, Justin, you look shot, you all you spot <laughs> you want... Yeah, good thing I'm in the tank kayak today. I'd have been overboard on my hoodie. <laughs> they should have put warning labels on that freaking motor, man. <laughs> 